Well, here we are at the end of the first week of math grade two, and we're up to lesson number five, which is our review lesson, where we're going to go over the things that we went through this week, and we covered a lot of material in this first week of lessons. In our Ray's Arithmetic book, we have done lesson number one. We've gone over that. And lessons two and three, where we went through our numbers from 11 through 70. In fact, we wrote the figures for the numbers from 11 through 40, and then we wrote the figures from 41 through 70. Spent some time looking at those. And then we continued our numbers from 71 all the way through 100. And then we spent some time in lesson five in the book, learning how to read the numbers. And then we went on to write some numbers in lesson six, writing all the numbers between zero and one. 100. <laughs> zero and 100. And then we went on to some oral exercises where we went back to count some things visually so that you can get some practice adding and subtracting numbers. And that was kind of fun. And that was three lessons worth in that section of the book. So that took us up through lesson nine in the book. So quite a bit of math that we've done so far in this first week as our review of, of the first grade math. So now what we're going to do is just kind of quickly, just to have a little fun to go through this fast, we're going to count First of all, we're going to get this out of the way. This is our little ball exercise right out of the book. And we're just going to count through these to kind of warm up, kind of like calisthenics for our brain to get warmed up. And this will go kind of quick. We don't have to spend much time on this because we know these pretty well. But let's count up our balls here and just see what the figures say. So let's go to the first line here. And this is one. And you can count with me. One, two. One, two, three. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then we had some practice writing the figures for these numbers 1 through 10. And those are the ones that you see over here on the right. So there's the figure for 1, and for 2, for 3, for 4, for 5, for 6, for 7, for 8, for 9, and for 10. And then we continued our writing of all the figures all the way through 100, so we continued at 11. And let's go through these real quickly, too. Let's count our way up from 11 all the way to 100, and this is where we had some practice writing these figures on paper. So I'm using some graph paper here. You can get a piece of graph paper if you have some. Graph paper has these squares on it instead of lines, but either one is fine, either line paper or graph paper. When you get that ready, if you want to go along with this, well, I'm going to go kind of quickly on this review, but you can afterwards, on your piece of paper, you can write your numbers 1 through 100, actually 0 through 100, just to review that and get that out of the way for the week. But 11 through 100 goes kind of like this. So this is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's go quickly through these, huh? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Last group, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 100. We made it. And just to show you what 100 of something looks like, as we've done in the previous lessons, we can see that what we have here is 100 x's. And they're basically in groups of 10. So there's 10 here, and there's 10 in all of the other groups. 
So this is 10, and this is 20, and this is 30. I'm counting the 10 groups, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. So that's what 100 looks like when it's nice and neat and organized real orderly. Let's see what we can do now is go back over the oral exercises that we did yesterday. And if you remember what we were using for counters in those exercises, they were happy faces. So we're going to use those again today in our review. Now let's go ahead and drill through these kind of quickly so we get our practice in for the week. So we started with one, and we added another one. So we have one and one. How many are one and one? Well, that's two. How about one taken away from two? Well, that's one. And how many ones are in two? Two. How many are two times one? Two again. Okay, how many are two and one? That's three. How many are one and one and one? Well, that's three. How many are three times one? Three again. One taken away from three leaves how many? That's two. Two taken away from three leaves one. So how many ones are in three? Three ones in three. All right, how many are three and one? Three and one are four. How many are two and two? That's four. How many are one and one and one and one? Four again. How many are two? No. How many are? How many are two times two? That is also four. So we will start with our four and we'll take away one. That's going to be how many? One from four leaves three. And two from four leaves two. Three taken away from four leaves one. So how many ones are in four? Four ones in four. How many twos are in four? I see two fours and two twos in four. How many are four and one? That's five. How many are three and two? Yeah, that's five. How many are one and one and one and one? That's five. How many are five times one? Five again. Now one taken from five leaves, right, four. And two taken from five, that's three. How many are three taken from five? That's two. How many are four taken from five? That's just one. All right, so how many ones are in five? Five ones in five. Let's keep on going. Five and one, how many is that? That's six. How many are four and two? That's six. How many are three and three? Looks like six to me. So how many are, let's see. How many are six times one? That's six. And how many are three times two? Yeah, that's six. How many are two times three? That's six. Well, with our six, let's go ahead and uh, take away one. One from six leaves five, and two from six leaves four. Three from six leaves three. How many are four from six? Yeah, that's two. How many are five from six? Just one. So how many ones are in six? Six ones in six, all right. How many twos are in six? Yeah, three twos in six. How many threes are in six? There are two threes in six. Let's keep on going to add another one to our six. So six and one are seven. And five and two are seven. Four and three. Yeah, that's seven. How about three and four? Same thing, seven. So if we start with our seven and we take away one... Now, how many, well, how many ones are in seven? That's what I forgot to ask you. You see seven ones? Yep, that's right. Now, we take one away from those seven, we have how many? We have six. And two from seven leaves five. Three from seven leaves four. 
and five, four taken from seven leaves three, and five taken from seven leaves two, six taken from seven leaves one. All right, so how many ones are in seven? Seven ones in seven. And then we go to eight. Well, actually it's seven and one, which are eight. How many are six and two? Six and two are eight. Five and three, that's eight. And four and four are eight. Three and five are eight. Two and six are eight. So how many ones are in eight? Looks like eight to me. How many fours are in eight? Two fours in eight. And how many twos are in eight? Do you see four twos in eight? Yeah, I do too. Alrighty. So with our eight, let's see. We're going to take away one. So that leaves us with how many? With seven. All right. What about two taken from from eight? That's six. And then three taken from eight? That's five. How about four taken from eight? Yeah, that's four. And five taken from eight? is three. How many are six taken from eight? Six from eight leaves two. And then how many are seven taken from eight? That leaves just one. Very good. So how many ones are in eight? Eight ones in eight. And how many twos? There are four twos in eight. And how many fours are in eight? There are two fours in eight. See that? All right, let's add another one. Eight and one are nine. How about seven and two? How many is that? Seven and two are nine. And six and three are also nine. Five and four. How many is that? Right, that's nine. Four and five. That's also nine. How many are three and six? Also nine. Two and seven. Nine again. All right, so how many ones are in nine? Nine ones in nine. And how many threes are in nine? If we look at this, we got three threes in nine. See that? All righty, let's take away one of those nine. How many do we have left? One taken from nine leaves eight. And two taken from nine leaves seven. How many are three from nine? Three taken from nine leaves six. How about four from nine? Four from nine leaves five. Five from nine, that leaves us with four. How many are six taken from nine? That's three. How many are seven taken from nine? That leaves two. How many are eight taken from nine? That leaves just one. So how many ones are in nine? Nine, so that means nine, nine times one are nine. Very good, let's add one more to finish this up. So nine and one are 10. And eight and two, how many is that? Well, that's also 10. And how many are seven and three? Yeah, that's 10. Six and four are 10. Five and five, also 10. How many are two and eight? That's 10. Three and seven? That's 10. And four and six, also 10. So how many ones are in 10? Ten ones in ten. How many fives are in ten? There are two fives in ten. And how many twos are in ten? I see five twos. How about you? All adds up. Okay. Well, that is... Oh, i got to do one more thing here. We have to take away. We're going to start again with our ten. We're going to take away one. How many does that leave us? It leaves us with nine. And two taken from 10 leaves eight. Three taken from 10 leaves seven. How many are four from 10? Four from 10 leaves six. How many are five taken from 10? That leaves five. And six taken from 10 leaves four. And seven taken from 10, that leaves three, doesn't it? And eight taken from 10, that leaves two. 9 taken from 10 leaves us with just 1. Okay. 
So there's our 10. We got 2 times 5, that's 10. And 5 times 2, that's 10. So it all adds up. Okay, well I think that will do it for our big fat review lesson of the week. So we will see you next week for a new batch of lessons. We're going to actually get into, well, I won't give it away. You'll see what we're going to do in our lesson number six next time we get together. We'll see you then.